short video will demonstrate how to effectively clean up data anomalies that may be skewing inspection dates and rates of corrosion in the program. PCMS has built-in tolerance checking that automatically identifies data anomalies, alerts the user, and does not use the data in corrosion calculations. The user has the option to how conservative to set the tolerance levels. Typical sites set a growth tolerance of 10% per process unit. As you can see, I am in the CML window of the program and positioned on CML002. When I position on the readings tab, I see all the readings associated with this CML point. In this example, we can see that PCMS has automatically marked the readings after the March 1997 reading as an error in the QA column. We can also see that the program is only using the 1996 reading and 1997 reading in the calculation of a long rate by viewing the code column. We do not have three valid readings, so the program is not calculating a short rate of corrosion. I can view the corrosion calculations on the calculated tab. As you can see, PCMS calculated the long rate, the recommended inspection date, and the long rate retirement date. In this example, we are overdue for inspection on February 8, 1998. After a bit of research, we have discovered that the pipe had been replaced on June 5, 1997, but not documented in PCMS. In order to take credit for the replacement, the user must perform a CML replacement in the software. From the Readings tab, I will select Actions, Replacement Actions, Replace CML. I will define on what date the CML replacement occurred, which on June 5th, 1997. I can also choose to continue to use this historical corrosion rate in the current corrosion calculations. By not checking the deactivate history records, we are indicating that this is a like-in-kind replacement in which to use the corrosion rate in current corrosion calculations. Click OK. I will now recompute thickness. This action will archive all readings previous to June 5, 1997. The user will now add any future readings to this CML. Now you will see I have three valid readings in PCMS calculate both a long rate and short rate of corrosion, as well as a new inspection date and new retirement dates. When I position back on the Summary tab and Show History, I can see the archive reading set along with the preserved historical corrosion rate. It is very important to maintain replacement data in PCMS. As we can see, the more accurate we make our activities in the program, the more accurate calculations will be performed. To learn more about implementation techniques, please contact PCMS support at PCMS support at mistrustgroup.com.